Okay, so we roll. Fainting. It's such a dramatic reaction to fear and, quite frankly, sometimes a little dangerous. So today on Xyology, I'm wondering, why do we faint? People faint from blood loss and dehydration and shock. But why is it that some people seem to have fainting spells for no real reason at all? Well, one cause of this brief loss of consciousness is caused by something called a vasovagal syncope. That's when your vagus nerve is triggered. This reflex widens the blood vessels in your legs, slowing your heart rate and causing your blood pressure to drop. Without blood flow to the brain, you get dizzy and then the lights go out. According to clinical psychologist Tyler C. Ralston, about 15% of the population faints at the sight of blood. Why? Well, scientific research suggests that there's a fainting gene. Here's Ralston's theory. Way back when warriors would faint during battle, they would appear dead. But of course, having fainted, their blood pressure would be lower, so they were also a little less likely to bleed to death. The survivors passed on those fainting genes and lived to see another day. But we humans aren't the only ones who pass out in the animal kingdom. These Tennessee fainting goats are proverbially weak in the knees as well. But in this instance, to be more precise, their legs get stiff. That's because they have a condition called myotonia congenita. When one of these little guys catches sight of a predator, they get startled, their muscles get tense, and then they're down for the count. The thing is, the animals don't lose consciousness. It just takes a little while for them to relax again. Now you must be thinking, that can't be advantageous. How have these guys survived? Well, it turns out they've been selectively bred by us humans. In a form of unnatural selection, these goats have been bred for meat. But with all this fainting talk, you guys at home know, I have nerves of steel and I'm always cool, calm and collected. This is just acting. Ugh.